Hey guys, in this week's video I'm going to show you how to change out your nozzle on your R1 Plus. I personally am putting on a hardened nozzle so you can use exotic filaments like this flexible filament. A couple things I want to say right off the bat. This one is a little bit more difficult than say the Dremel one. Um, if you haven't seen that video there will be a link right here. Um, there's a lot more small wires that are easy to damage and things like that so you definitely want to be really careful with this there is a little bit of prying involved um, at least on mine the nozzle itself seems to have some sort of a loctite or something like that on it so you do have to do, use a little bit of force and be kind of careful when getting it off that being said if you guys are ready let's jump into it i'll show you how to change out your nozzle to film this video slightly differently the printer had to be on for the upgrade to take place so I filmed it all and then I'm doing voiceover later um, the first thing you're gonna want to do there's a little screw right in front of the nozzle uh, it's kind of hard to see but once you get a, a screwdriver in there you can kind of feel it um, you don't want to remove it all the way you just have to loosen it a little bit which is what I'm doing right now uh, it's just a small Phillips bit Once you have that screw loosened up, there's this little plastic tab that you want to pull out and it will drop the nozzle down, just like that. This is the part we're going to want to be really careful because if you see those wires coming off the side of it, they're very thin and easily broken. Um, so what you're going to want to do for the next step is turn the heater on the printer up and I did it about uh, 2.30. Um, so that's why I have the two tools so that you can grab the one with the uh, grab the heater block with the one tool and the nozzle with the other tool because it's going to be very hot and then just loosen uh, the best you can be very careful as I said and uh, just don't actually touch the nozzle or anything itself because it's going to be extremely hot Here's that new nozzle. I got a Micro Swiss plated wear resistant nozzle. Obviously I've let it cool down uh, since the last clip, so just let it cool down, hand tighten it the best that you can. Uh, something interesting to note about these is they are not round, like a, uh, you can't put a socket on it, you have to use an actual wrench. So that's what I'm doing here, just uh, hand tighten it and then tighten it down a little bit more just to make sure that it's not gonna come off. Now to put everything back together, this little gap here is what that plastic piece that we slid out earlier is going to hold on to. So we just kind of slide the nozzle back up into the slot and make sure that that plastic piece slides over it and kind of clips it into place. You got to kind of play with it just a little bit till you find that spot and uh, then it just locks right in. Once we've got that all clipped into place, we're going to want to move these wires, kind of just make sure that they're away from the heater block uh, so that they don't melt when you're printing. And then go ahead and tighten down that Phillips head screw that we loosened earlier. Once that is done, you should be good to continue printing. Hey guys, as you can see, it's working, it's printing nicely, uh, everything went back together pretty well. 
If you want to see what it is printing with this exotic filament, make sure to subscribe so you can see the video when it comes out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. The replacement nozzle I bought will be in a link in the video description if you want to buy one for your own. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.